talking about um, local knowledge on the uses, habitat, and changing abundance of new resource species in Benin. And this is part of results from my PhD study. Uh, basically, my presentation will follow this structure. Um, it's uh, an open secret that uh, many people harvest in many area uh, across the world different kind of non-timber forest products which greatly contribute to different aspects of the world. And there is a recent review study which came out with uh, the conclusion that in most of the cases, NTFP harvesting is ecological sustainable. But the truth is a uh, threat from other harvesting is real for many NTFP species. And this uh, may depend on the concerning species, the plant of the part that is harvesting, and the ecological area where the species is exploited. NTFP species also undergo different pressure such as uh, conversion of forest to non-forest lands, uh, different shift in ecological processes and invasion by alien species. And so understanding uh, how people use different plants and what they use them for became uh, an important step for the management, but also to maintain our cultural heritage about the uses of species which are highly pertinent for domestication strategies. So my work is uh, about two species of lumisops, and those are the only two species native from West Africa, but they do also exist in other countries in Africa. Uh, here you have some examples of the uses. The wood is extracted for charcoal production for construction, uh, bark, root, fruit, and seeds, as well as leaves are used as medicine. And uh, despite the widespread potential uses, there is limited information on the uses and conservation status of both species in West Africa, and specifically in Benin, where, uh, like in many other countries, uh, forests are under pressure, and as consequence, many species are frightened, and this undermines the well-being of users and communities. And so the issues of reduced population or loss of population is not just about conservation, but also of social and development concern. So my study is to see uh, if the species are still used in Benin, which part are uh, extracted and for what purpose. Also to see if uh, there is any relation with uh, the organ, the plant part extracted and the sex, age and ethnic groups, to see if there is similarity in the use of the two species and see what local people know about uh, the habitat and change in abundance of the species. So my study area is Berlin, which is uh, a West African country. And for green results and audiences, I work in two villages in the southern parts of the country. For the second species, I work in 10 different villages in the uh, transition zone, the central part of the country. And before collecting data, I contacted the head of village to get permission to discuss with people. I also contacted forest managers to get permission to enter the forest. And uh, I did some prospections accompanied with, uh, uh, by two local people to identify the species in the forest and get local name of the species for interview. And I interviewed 50 household per sample village, and the interview was with head of household. 
So for data analysis, I group my use, uh, the recorded uses in two categories and determine the use importance per category, sex, age, and ethnic group. I also realize a correspondence analysis to see if there is a relationship between organ, exploited, age, sex, and ethnic affiliation of users. So what did we find? Nearly all part of the plant are used. Leaves, uh, bark, fruit are used uh, for healthcare needs. Wood is used, uh, exploited for firewood and also in construction. And we saw that uh, many of the recorded uses are similar to other uses in the other countries where the species are uh, being used. Here you have uh, what the bag looks like. Uh, in the mid here you have a uh, regrown young stems after exploitation. Here you have uh, the parking damage from the bag. Just some reason. But we also found uh, similarity in some uses of the species. For instance, as you can see uh, in this stem, the leaves of box species are used to treat malaria and headache, and there is similarity also for the, some use of the bark, the root, wood, and food. Uh, we found some significant difference in the use value of both species based on gender, age, and ethnic groups. Here uh, is not much clear, but we found that uh, there is a link between uh, the use of some organ and some um, ethnic groups. And this different variation in the knowledge of use of species might be interesting for the management of a species. So according to local population and which information uh, has been confirmed by the literature, the species can be found in habitat with certain level of soil moisture. Uh, for Mimizov sandogensis, it is found in Benin, in the uh, most largest semi deciduous forest that we have in the uh, southern parts of the country, which is the most humid part of the country. And for the second species, we found it in the more arid part, but along water courses. So for some uh, informants, the population abundance of the species decreased, and for them, the main uh, factor that are responsible for that decrease uh, uh, forest clearance for uh, agricultural activities, exploitation, and also the difficulty for the species to regenerate, which pre prevent them to recolonize uh, some areas after disturbance. And globally, we saw that, or our results confirmed that local people know not only the uses of the species, but they also know uh, the ecology and the conservation setting of some species. And it will be uh, good to collaborate with them while planning for activities for the conservation of the species. Some application. Uh, of our results. Uh, around the world, in many rural areas, people are still relying on uh, traditional medicine, and thus uh, the species can be promoted uh, for the treatment of high blood pressure and uh, other diseases that, like malaria and uh, infection, which are currently increasing chronic disease around the world. Also, the fruit of the species can be uh, valorized, the use can be valorized, uh, because we found in the forest that just this part of the fruit are used by, are consumed by some animals in the forest, because the forests are far from home, people don't collect it, and uh, the majority of that fruit are left for rot and the seed are destroyed. So we can valorize the use of those fruits 
and preserve the seeds for germination uh, experiments. Uh, the reason why I, I'm talking about valorizing the species is because for me, uh, species like movies of squid uh, don't have high economic value. While people um, plan for conservation, they don't look at those species. So for me, a way to help to conserve or preserve those species is to valorize their uses uh, by local people. I want to thank uh, the Organization of, for Women in Science for the Developing World and the International Foundation for Science for their financial support for my work. I also want to thank Broad University, which allowed me to be here at this conference, uh, which I enjoyed so far. And last and not the least, local communities for accepting to share their uh, knowledge with us. Thank you.